So the concept, no BS, purely comes out of um, me and Elijah always, you know, hanging together and playing music, bouncing ideas off each other and stuff. We've been friends, like, I mean, our parents were friends before we were born. And, like, in honestly, Louisiana. in Louisiana. And I grew up, like, with Elijah and his brother Kenya. And honestly, I, I won't tell too many people this, but the only pair of hand-me-downs I've ever worn in my life has come from this man. The man gave me a pair of these jeans. They, permanent Crease 501. Yeah, the Permanent Crease 501s back in the day. He had them at, at about 10 years old. And everybody else was grown that was wearing them. So I was like, man, let me wear them. That's how long ago this was. I could really fit his clothes back then before I chunked up at Berkeley High School. We, still, we, we both extra large right now, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm 215 pounds, 6 feet one. He's bigger than you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, man, we decided to come with this concept, man. Um, we've been playing forever. Like, he has a brother he played with, Eric Pickfunk Smith. Awesome. One of the most awesome bass players there is. Absolutely. There. And I have a brother that played guitar. Great guitar player as well. Absolutely. But Jubal and I just have this amazing chemistry that we've been playing together so long. And we're similar. The, the instrument, I tell people this, the instrument, uh, usually a great musician, the instrument is, just becomes an extension of yourself. So whereas me and Elijah, we're practical jokers, you know, we act crazy, we, we, we like to entertain the crowd. Our brothers are more reserved, you know what I mean, laid more back. laid back and everything. Straight to the point. Yeah, so we naturally gravitated towards each other from the brothership Brother, brotherhood, brothership standpoint, and it naturally culminated in the in the you know in the rhythm section aspect of our brotherhood. So we have a certain amount of influence in playing these instruments. Like I said, he's the most mocked guitar player in urban guitar history, and nobody can take that from him. Me, my skills have developed because you know. I can play the bass, but I, I, I play bass because I'm a dancer, so I stick to the script. I ain't into all the tricks, but I can play the tricks. But the tricks don't get you gigs. So I play bass, you know what I'm saying? So Jubal can bass. dance, you know what I'm saying? I stay home. So, therefore, I, I develop the pocket and I, I stay there and I find my holes and I get them. So that's what he appreciates about me. See, Pick Funk got licks galore. He's another Jubal. He's another beast. So he better pairs off with the team he got, which is Arrow, and whoever else he play with. But anyway, I lay back. I can't let Jubal just handle his business. Yeah, he allows my e my inner ego to flourish. <laughs> <laughs> I got swag, so I, I ain't got to do nothing. I, I, I can hold that one that one bass string, E, B, A, D, and just hold it down, and he can go ahead and get busy. I got a two-step that'll kill him every time. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, man. You know what I'm saying? But the so we decided, man. Let's let's put this thing together. We try to figure out what we're gonna do, man. We, you know, people don't support R&B good music anymore. Jubal got a great group album he produced, Legally Blind. I have a great group I produced, Park Avenue. But it's genocide in R&B world right now. They don't want to support good music. So and when as artists we're not supporting each other, which is crazy. Yeah, we try to figure it out. So I mean, of all the, the all the people that even we play with, we play music with them, we perform with them, we produce them, and it's like it's still there comes a point where it gets separated when it's time to do artistry together. So what we've decided to do through Ambitious Records is bring a community of music. And that community is gonna to travel together. We're gonna to tour together. We're gonna to, we're gonna build a fan base together, like the old Motown days when you had the real, true traveling reviews. Some people call it grassroots. You know, we just call it getting back to the original way that that music was made and the way that music was even being pushed and sold. You know, so what we're doing is we're getting a great roster of talented people. And we started off with ourselves to, you know, to show the light of where we are with our production today, where we are with our ideas today, and um, starting a movement. So tell about this concept you're working on. The 
concept of no BS is the way we are as people. People will tell you about logic. Hey, man, he's straight to the point. He don't BS, man. He don't BS around at all. What they'll tell you about me is once you can get me on the phone or once you can get me in your area, no BS with me either, right? So we both are known for no BS, but also behind no BS, you got Baker and you got Smith. So, you know, it's no BS, but it's also Baker and Smith. And it, and it just means that we bring quality to you. We're not BSing with this music. We're not BSing with the other artists. We're not BSing with our team, with the team that's dedicated to bringing music continuously and building a real, real movement, not separating from people. Anybody want to get on? Anybody want to get down? If your music is great and your music is up to par, we're all about giving the fans and giving the, and giving the people a great time. So whether it's an album, a long playing album, whether it's a sample CD, whether it's a tour, whether we're on stage, it's going to be quality because we don't BS. Hence, no BS. So therefore, we got a lot of 2019, we're going extra hard, like extra, extra, extra hard. Harder than ever before. We talked to our brothers, uh, the Hamiltons. They're another underrated soul group. We talked about building unity with them and doing some music with them, doing some shows with them, and building a soul music movement ourselves. I had something else, but I'm not saying it because I'm not allowed to. <laughs> I've been overruled. My big mouth been overruled. And that ain't easy to do. But big things are coming. I'll vouch for him. Big things are coming. That was going to be a secret. Big things are coming. I'll tell you a little bit about that secret. Okay. You've heard the music before. We'll put it to you that way. That way. But we're getting ready to come back with some things that, you know, some things that you love, but we're going to do it the right way. We getting ready to do it the right way. So look out for us in 2019. My brother BJ, part of the super production team. Yes, he and is. And we're gonna keep it, we're gonna keep it pushing. He's got work that we're getting ready to be doing. He's an artist as well. So we just keeping the team. We're gonna travel with the review and we're gonna bring real music back to these people and the in the right way, like really brotherhoods with people. No separating, no we trying to kill this band, we trying to, no, 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 no. Let's all come together, like Woodstock. Because the only way we're going to make it is support each other. The real music is independent. The real soul music, the real talent, real R&B is independent. Um, radio stations, politics, they all genocide, you know what I'm saying, to our music, our culture. So unless we support each other, we're dead men walking. That's right. Remember that, you killed me. <laughs> Remember that old <only>. nigga. <laughs> so if we don't support each other, we killed each other. That's, uh, if y'all want that music, the music's available, but it's all independent artists. So you have to support each other. We will support and continue to do that great music that's missing because there's no good music. Um, I heard one of the young artists call himself the king of R&B right now, and most people disagree. Guitarist forever. The sound. The sound. The sound. When you hear this music and you want to get out with us, reach out to us. We got a whole world of music for everybody. For everybody. We want different genres. It don't matter. It don't matter. Come on, come on. We got something for you, I guarantee you. We support Nike, man. We're part of the movement. We're part of the movement. We support Nike. <laughs> we support Cap, okay? Nike, Nike, Nike. Absolutely. Kaepernick, baby. Yeah, Kaepernick, man. We, we Still baby. not watching football. Yeah, football sucks without Cap. So, we own that, man. And, um, 
So we finna put this sample CD together, man. Just a whole bunch of loops. And uh, our brother Jerry just gave us an idea. He did a, a great job with producing his awesome guitar licks. But me and John, John and I, the proper way to say it, um, decided to do guitar and bass. So y'all can flip it however y'all want to. Just send us our publishing shit. Please, dear. And we're good with it, man. So we're gonna get in here, go back to work, and uh, please support, because all you rappers want some real instrumentation to your music. Call no BS, man. Get the record. Enjoy yourself. East Coast, West Coast, Midwest, South. Sample you can't sample no more. Put them trap beats with that good old folk, man. That good old soul, boy. Take your production a whole new dimension. Because y'all boys ain't got no guitars, no bass in y'all record. What's up with that? Y'all was raised on guitar and bass. Ain't it the music industry? I thought so. Music industry? Not program industry. Music, music industry. industry? You got to have some type of instruments in your music. We should play music. We should do that. So therefore, we're going to get back to work, man, and uh, look out for no BS. We coming, whether you like it or not. Hello. Shit. 19. Let me take a seat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Na 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 nineteen, na 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 nineteen, na 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 nineteen. See ya.